Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really gonna like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Ting Wireless is a prepaid mobile service provider that charges you $6 just to have access to their phone service, and any charges above that is solely based on your actual usage. So for all of your minutes, your text, and your data, you are charged at different tier levels once you use any of those services. So I'm gonna talk about the different tiers for the available minutes, the available text, and the available data that you can use with Ting Wireless Service. So with all three of the tiers, if you don't use any minutes, text, or data, then there's no additional charge, and all you will be charged is that $6 fee for having the service. However, as far as with minutes, once you use the first minute up until using 100 minutes per month, that is only $3 per month. Now, once you go over 100 minutes up to 500 minutes, you are charged $9 per month. And according to Ting's website, this is where the average user of Ting services falls within this tier. The next tier is 501 minutes up to 1000 minutes of usage, and that is $18 per month. The next tier is 1,001 minutes up to 2,000 minutes, and that is $35 a month. And once you go over 2,100 minutes, you are charged 1.9 cents per minute. Now for the text tier. As I mentioned, if you don't use text, whether that's sending or receiving, then you aren't charged for any text messaging. But once you do send out one text, you have up to 100 texts, and you'll only be charged $3 per month. The next level is 101 text messages up to 1,000 text messages for only $5 per month. And this is where the average teen user falls. The next level is 1,001 texts up to 2,000 texts, and that's only $8 per month. Then the next level is 2,001 up to 4,800 text messages, and that's just $11 per month. And once you go over 4,800 texts, then you're charged 25 cents per text. Now for the data tier. As long as you don't use any data, and what you can do is actually change the settings on your phone to where cellular data is completely turned off. So if you don't want to use any data at all, that would be the way to go. And then you won't be charged anything for data. But as soon as you use one megabyte of data, you will have up to 100 megabytes of data to use because you're going to be charged $3 for that month. Now the next level is 101 megabytes up to 500 megabytes, which is half of a gigabyte. Then you are charged $10 per month, and that is the average range of users of the Ting Wireless service. Now the next level is 501 megabytes up to one gigabyte, and you are charged $16 per month for that data usage. The next level is 1.1 gigabytes up to two gigabytes, and you're charged $20 per month. Once you go over two gigabytes of data usage, you're then charged $10 for every gigabyte of data that you use. Now the reason that I break down the different tiers for every minute and every text and every piece of data that you use on your phone is because that's the only way you're gonna get charged. If you don't use any of those, then you won't get charged. If you only use minutes, you only be charged for the minutes that you use that fall within those different tiers and so on and so forth for the text messaging and the data usage. So you can really control how much you pay per month for the services that you use when you use Ting Wireless. So if you were to only use the minimum tier level where you're actually being charged, that would be $3 for minutes, $3 for text, and $3 for data, plus the $6 just for having the service, you would be paying about $15 for Ting Wireless service. And when you look at the average user, as mentioned on Ting Wireless's website, the average user pays between $20 and $30 for their cell phone service. And so if you have no need for unlimited minutes, unlimited text, or unlimited data, then 20 to $30 is actually a really great deal when you compare it to using any other phone services that are offering 40 to $50 unlimited services, or maybe charging a little bit more than that 20 to $30, depending on the type of uses that you have. And if you only want to have a cell phone just for emergency usage, you have no plans of using any text messaging or any data usage, and you want to just be able to make an emergency call when you need to, then you essentially would have a phone for just $6 per month just to have access to that phone number. Now to talk about the services that Ting actually uses. Now Ting is an MVNO, which means that they're using one of the big service providers like Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, or AT&T. Now the three services that you have access to are Sprint and T-Mobile, which were the original two with Ting Wireless. And although recently over the summer, they did mention that they were gonna cancel their contract with T-Mobile, but I guess they were able to come to an agreement because that is still an option 
via Ting Wireless. However, most recently they did mention that Verizon will be the third carrier that you have access to via the Ting Wireless service. Now there is no specific date of when that will be available. Make sure you check out their website so that way you'll know the exact date when you'll have access to Verizon Towers via the Ting Wireless network. Now as far as available phones on this service, when I checked out their website, you can see that you have access to iPhones and Android devices. Now specifically with iPhones, you can go as far back as the iPhone 5 and it will work with Ting Wireless. And specifically with Samsung devices, you can go back to the Galaxy S4. Now there are other devices of course, it's not just iPhones and Samsung Android phones, but what you can do is you can check out the compatibility checker, which I will have a link to in the description, so you can check out if the current phone that you have will work with Ting Wireless. But not only cell phones, you can also connect your tablet or your iPad if it has a SIM card enabled with it. Now, as I mentioned, because you get to control the amount of usage that you have with your minutes, your text, and your data, this is great for someone that doesn't really use their cell phone that much, or for someone who always has access to Wi-Fi. Now, I say that because even with Wi-Fi, you can receive quote unquote text messages via many different messaging apps. Now with iPhone, you automatically think about iMessage, which if you're receiving an iMessage, you're not technically receiving a text message because text messages use a different technology than iMessage. With iMessage, you need access to the internet in order to receive those messages. So if you're connected to Wi-Fi, that is your internet access and you don't actually need any mobile data access. So that goes for iMessages, WhatsApp, and also the private messenger app Signal. And with those applications, you can also make calls using the internet as well. So with WhatsApp, you can make calls using the internet. This is why many people that may have either friends or family outside of the country, you can use WhatsApp to make calls and you're not charged for international minutes because it doesn't actually use minutes, it uses the internet. So using Wi-Fi is another great way for you to make sure that you save on your cell phone bill because you're not being charged for that data usage or those text messages if you use the correct applications. So if you're currently a Ting Wireless user or you're thinking about using Ting Wireless, let us know why or why not in the comments. And also talk about the ways you're able to save by using specific applications. That way you don't have to use the minutes or the text messages in order to stay in contact with your friends and family. All right, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.